Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm being joined by Dr. Brian Clark. He is the uh, Director of Education over at the College of Biomedical Equipment Technology, and we're going to discuss the RBLP, which is the Resilience Building Leadership Profession. And that's a certification that I, I, I haven't heard of until you guys did a post last week. And um, I always have people that are asking me, hey, I'm, I'm at this kind of apex of my career. Where do I go from here? And how can I be more competitive? And this actually kind of sounds like one of those options. So, uh, Dr. Clark, thank you for joining me here. And uh, I appreciate all, it. Man, I, I would just like to know, um, what is the RBLP? And, you know, uh, who would this probably apply to? Okay. Well, as you're well aware, the healthcare industry is high paced and demanding environment, which can create a lot of strain and stress on employees. Therefore, uh, to be successful as a supervisor or leader, you need to be able to promote resilience, um, cohesiveness, um, in, or in order to build a team that can fight through adversity and come out uh, stronger on the other side. Um, but there are few opportunities to gain this targeted uh, and deliberate training. So that's where RBLP comes in. Uh, the training and certifications, not only will you gain valuable knowledge and functional leadership skills, but you also get a chance to validate that, uh, what you learn through a globally recognized certification program. And the way it's presented, yeah, yeah. And and it's it's picking up steam. Uh, a lot of uh, companies are starting to recognize it more and more. And if you go onto LinkedIn or Facebook, uh, you can look it up and, and you can see that it has got a large following and there's a lot of people that hold those credentials by, behind their, uh, into their name. Um, right. And it all starts with, with some, some uh, training that, that we as an authorized training partner at CBET are, are able to uh, provide. And um, it's provided through a seven week training program. Uh, and okay. yeah. Wow. All right. So what are the advantages if you, if you, want to get the certification what are the advantages for the employer and for the employee because i'm sure that each of them has some marketing capabilities behind that that certification sure um anytime you're looking at continuing education or professional development personal development uh, that's that's showing that hey you're trying to improve and you're trying to become a, a better asset for uh, not only uh, your team but the company that you work for and so this is unique because most people in the healthcare industry they have like a set standard of certifications that they're going for, right? You have your levels and then you kind of get to a point where you're like, what else do I do? Uh, right. Well, this is where this can come in and it can really set you apart from your peers. So, hey, not only am I technically proficient, not only am I certified and meet all the criteria to do my job, but I'm also certified in leadership and building resilient teams to get through those hard times. And this certification will be an ad additional resume pattern, if you will, but it, it really does provide good, solid training that you can utilize in a, a real world environment. You know, I was thinking because there's so many senior level biomeds who aren't really ready to take that next management type of level. And usually they're kind of set up to fail, you know, like people move them into team leader positions and they just are completely not ready. Uh, a modern day clinical engineering environment is a very dynamic environment. And we have a lot of challenges. Like now you have to deal with time management. Now you have to deal with personnel and their complexities. And I, that's why I'm actually kind of fascinated about this because this is kind of like a transition between being a technician and being a manager. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's, it's the, the cool thing about it is it, it's designed for all levels, right? So no matter if you are a frontline supervisor, a uh, middle manager, or even senior level leaders, um, you you can utilize this training. And even if you're not supervising anybody yet and you have aspirations of becoming a supervisor, or if you just want to be a better leader amongst your peers, there are options within the certification program uh, that you could utilize to, uh, you know, better yourself. So you mentioned earlier that CBET is doing the training. Uh, one of the classes, what does it look like? Uh, it's it's a regular program. It's, it's a structured program. Yes. So we are going to kick off uh, our next cohort, cohort on 1 April. Um, and it will last for seven weeks, and I will be the, uh, the instructor for that course uh, moving forward, at least for the foreseeable future. And there's going to be a, a small break in between each one, and then we'll have a whole, hold another seven-week cohort. 
Uh, but if you go to cbet.com and go to programs, there is a data sheet that will tell you a whole bunch of information, including what the course provides and what you will be learning uh, on a foundational level. And then also there is the schedule for the entire 2024 20, and 25 uh, calendar year that you can look at. And, and just to kind of give you an idea of, of some of the topics that are going to be covered in the material are, you know, how to raise morale in the work center, creating positive climate, uh, boosting teamwork, uh, improve motivation, uh, how, uh, helping your team solve problems or accepting change, all these type of things that are very relevant uh, are, are going to be covered in, in a lot of different ways. That's amazing. All right, guys. Well, look down in the video description. I will go ahead and leave the link so that you guys can check it out. They're going to be starting classes soon, and the classes are probably going to fill up, given the history of CBET and how fast their classes do fill up. So go ahead, and uh, this is the time to start planning out for the rest of the year. Dr. Clark, thank you very much for joining me, sir. Guys, yes, sir. thanks for watching. Look down in the video description below for the link.